So Alex, um, two on loss away to FC Arlington Man. Um, how do you think it went? Um, I think it's a feeling of um, disappointment really um, from what was a great start. Um, it's been a long day, we got off to a great start um, and then we kept it really tight first half um, and I thought we were excellent first half. We were so compact and so and so tight and, and to a man we matched them all over um, and, and we come in at half time and I could see the lads were, were, were tired and, and we worked so hard first half just to keep in it I think we kind of just faded second half a little bit um, and we didn't quite um, probably show the best of ourselves second half but I think there's a lot of positives to take from it. There's a couple of chances that we had um, when there was when it was one nil to us still, and even at one one we had another chance, another couple of chances again. And if we take them, then I think, I think it would be a completely different story. I mean, they didn't break us down that much. Um, we, we conceded one goal from a corner and one goal from a shot from outside the area, which took a deflection. So it's a seriously, seriously good. Um, well, the lads listened to me, sorry, and asked, and did everything they asked. I asked of them, and it was, it was so tight, so compact, really hard to break down. We worked so hard, and, and, I, and I said to the boys afterwards, I'm really proud of the lads. I'm really proud of their efforts. Really proud of everything that they did, um, and they can't fault anything um, of the performance from the boys. It's just, just a little bit of fitness, um, which can be worked on. Um, but yeah, very, very good. So how, how do you think it was like when the Battle of the Alamo the last 10 minutes of the game, the last minutes of the first half, where it was just intense pressure? How do you think yeah. the boys coped? Yeah, very well. I think the boys coped very well. Um, I think they, they had... They have a lot of big lads and we, we stood up to the challenge well, uh, corner after corner. Um, I think the man in the match in the whole game was, was Tony. Tony was absolutely outstanding and he made a save in the first half towards the back end of it, which is one of the best saves I've ever seen in my life. Um, tips it onto the crossbar and then, and then the, the kid was offside but he even saved the rebound, incredible. Um, really good really good performance from them and yeah, last 10 minutes we, we stood strong but yeah, like you say, it was it was pretty relentless. Uh, different atmosphere, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah. Having some supporters in here. What was it like to play in front of um, a baying crowd of uh, 1,600 odd uh, Manx people um, baying for your blood because they want their team to win. What was that like? Um, yeah, interesting experience, good experience at the same time. Um, they would definitely, I don't think there was any Broxham fans in there. There was, there was certainly some um, kind of party atmosphere going on um, from them and they were clearly desperate for the Isle of Man team to win. So, yeah, very good. Um, enjoyed the occasion, enjoyed the crowd. Um, pleased for them, obviously, because they get the first, first game back on the island for our the long it's been so yeah please enough. good and we got so good two home games now haven't we yeah. um uh, looking forward to maybe getting some um some points on the board uh, which we think the performances have deserved so far and just not managed to sneak haven't we yeah and i mean we, we've had um second in the league fourth in the league and then isle of man away so couldn't have asked for a more difficult start really a um, couple of home games now against some good sides as well main road picking up some good results at the moment um i believe we've got in the next couple of games so yeah we've got more tough games to come but they're all tough at the moment, so we take them as we come and hopefully we get another result. Brilliant. Cheers, Alex. All Thank right, you. Cheers, Ad. Thanks, mate.